Hello everyone, and welcome back to Manator. I'm Ranyakuma, and today we're gonna hopefully maybe finish the game. Oh, that'd be nice, right? So let's start back in this of humans. By putting sharks in their place, hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane. And we don't have a planet of the apes situation on our hands. NWO sunk this ship for trying to deliver food, water, and medicine to imperiled patriots. True. Sure. Should have brought my fish finder. She's close. She's real close. I've really seen people pulling around super close. Yeah, a breeze would be nice. The hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. It is kinda nice to see some of the old lines again. I will not be scared off by a traitorous clique of elitists and their planned communities. Sounds like a threat. Project, the irradiated electric great white. That's That's a uh, being perma shock. This kind of painful. Great way to start, huh? Unlike some folks, I am not easily pacified by manufactured spectacles like senior professional golf tours. I would like it if they only introduce the enemy ones. This kind of started to get irritating. Okay. 
con un protection plan, ¿eh? The NWO death squads have made clear their intention to overthrow private property. Extrajudicial killings of all owners of homes with a second bathroom are right around the world. Mark my words. Source says they're going to shut down this broadcast under Executive Order 10995. Whatever you say. Okay, so that's a sheep. Humans, that's. Okay, well. Can't avoid us forever. We might as well do the size stuff in this area first. What's going on with my viewer account? Listen, you out of control techno fascists. I will not be silenced. Huh. Oh, something else found over here. Yes, another one. Like a quote of the day calendar, that was inspiring. Well, let's see. Each another one. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna focus on the main stuff. At least for now. As much as I enjoyed the game, I do kinda want to give this to get this series over with. Hopefully today.
Yes, yes, I know it will be doing that, but... Yeah, I think I'm gonna focus on the main... ...mission. The rest isn't exactly something... ...that we're showing, totally. Why does our grid rely on these pollutant technologies? Because the government has suppressed the work of Nikola Tesla, whose research could have provided us with free energy forever. That one at least is not entirely out. Like not entirely incorrect. So it's mostly just that some. Uh, what was it? That is on the side that just of these stole the research. Dispersing mental poison from hell, creating a lump and mass of propaganda drugged Americans who'd rather watch Aubrey Dominique take the Coco Bop challenge than read the Constitution. Aha! Take that, Aubrey Dominique. Well, that was easy. I didn't expect it to break that quickly. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm going here next. So many random sightings. I'm glad I decided to focus on the main story. Yeesh, I would be here for like 10 more episodes or something. Marine mammal parks are designed to anesthetize us from reality. Squeals, huh? Yeah, I mean, with a monster like this, I guess that's fair. That of fits. are a poor substitute for a truly representative government that honors the rights of its citizens. This city, like so many across our once great country, has become an Agenda 21 set. The NWOs hate free markets and affordable consumer goods has truly reached its populace. <laughs> love books, but don't love to read? Autolist.com has over 150,000 titles you can start listening to today. Like Sweden Flavor's Mark of the Beast, the true meaning of your present world. Love book. This is just the beginning. Next comes the countrywide search and seizure of our weapons, gold stores, and freeze-dried beef stroganoff. The narrator is starting to get a bit of Intimidated by the shark's fierce love of country and implacable devotion to the ideals of liberty, the bioweapon flees to open waters. Hit them. This way, right? So many sheeple going about their daily lives, ignorant that their minds are held captive by forces they don't know or understand. Um. Okay then. Let's see if we can... Okay. Game just crashed. I guess I switched regions too quickly or something? Hopefully I didn't lose too much progress.
And that is one of the reasons why I kind of want to get this series over with. The crashes has been kind of getting in my nerves. The insectoid agenda has been unfolding over many centuries. And you can okay. be assured that golf figures prominently into their plan. At least it saved that much. Unlike some folks, I am not easily pacified by manufactured spectacles like senior professional golf tours. Just, you know, building on. It appears that the bioweapon is not only carrying a viral agent, but the HPV vaccine as well. And there's the Apex. Alpha wave, huh? So, what's it gonna be this time? Biggest fast of the sea. Its attacks will irradiate you, evade a few times to shake it off. Any destruction lines can be grabbed and sent to flying back. Okay.
even physical matter. So maybe if we all focus our minds on the destruction of this unholy weapon, it will happen. This is kind of terrifying. Like heroic Neo, the shark has freed us from the Matrix. Now, we can unplug from the metal coils that once enslaved us, leave our mechanical caves, and greet this new dawn of truth. It's been 90 days since my last Truth Quest broadcast. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering where I've been. Well, for the past year or so, I've been partaking daily of ayahuasca. In fact, the very concept of Truth Quest came to me during a powerful vision. Powerful. It was during my last vidcast that I experienced what my wife described as a psychotic break. The next day, she and my son Stephen staged a family intervention. Well, I'm happy to report that since then, I've filed for divorce. Now I have time to dedicate myself to my true home. Questers, we know that reality is just a mirage. Somewhere through the crack between time and space, great cosmic truths remain, still awaiting discovery. These are the obscure and unmarked points along the road of our truth quest. Okay then. That was a uh, well. That was it. Was a different kind of boss fight. That's for sure. Either way, I I guess that's it for now. Mostly just random side stuff to do, which I'll just do on my own later, I guess. So yeah, I hope you all have fun, and I'll see you next time for whichever other game I end up playing. Bye-bye!